Hey guys, Mega Man NG here, and this is a quick little update because I want to do like a little something special for you all. Not really, but it's just to like provide my feelings on what I did this past Friday at New York Comic Con. And let me tell you, New York Comic Con was just big, it was huge, and I had a lot of fun. What I am going to say is that I did a lot in the convention this year in NYCC. And I did play a lot of different games, so I'm going to be providing my honest thoughts on each of them. I tried out like four different games, and they were just nuts. They really were. The first one was, of course, Project Cross Zone 2, which, oh my god. I've been playing the original again just to prepare for the, the second one that's going to come out in February. And the second one is like a big improvement over the first. Not only that, but they're adding new characters but at the process, they're replacing other characters. And sometimes they're like taking two characters and put them in different teams. The gameplay is still the same. It's just that addicting. It really is addicting. And I look forward to doing it when it comes out in February. There are so many games that it's coming out in February. It's not funny. It really isn't. And I also got to try out Street Fighter V. And it was the most recent one with Laura. And speaking of which, there's going to be more footage of it coming up with the beta. There's going to be another beta coming up and I'm going to be covering that. But regardless, I got to play one match with the newest character they just released, Laura. And it was a pretty good, though I had a bit of work. But seeing all the footage that was there and all the other players were there, it was crazy. I, was, I only had enough to get like one match in, so it was enough. And after that, I got to try out Dragon Quest Heroes. It's basically Dragon Quest with Dynasty Warriors, or if I were to think it, Dragon Quest version of Hyrule Warriors. It's a pretty fun, addicting game, and the interesting thing is that unlike Hyrule Warriors, where you're stuck with one character, you have like a party of four characters, and you can switch to these four characters at any time, so that way you can be able to like do all sorts of different things. It's really, it's really interesting, and it adds something new. Now, yeah, I really want to get my hands on it, just like with Hyrule Warriors, and... I can honestly say that it is really challenging. Not to mention it has RPG elements like the leveling system and everything. The same as it is with Dynasty Warriors. However, how this would play out, who knows. All I do know is that I'm really hyped for it. Along with a lot of other games. And there was also one other game I played. Yokai Watch. And I heard that there was an animated series that came out. like It was like a preview of it or something like that. I tried out the game and it's kind of fun. I know kids are going to be enjoying it too because Yokai Watch is basic is just basically that good. I even saw a lot of kids there, a lot of adults there playing the game and they were checking out like some of the merchandise that were there. There's actually going to be like a game or something. I don't really know all the details, but I can say it's a pretty good game and kids are going to like it, believe me. But there was a lot of other things that I did in the convention that were just that addicting. I couldn't get any autographs cuz lines were packed. The convention was packed as all hell. Although one favorite thing I did like was playing Star Wars Battle Pod. I tried out the Star Wars Battle Pod that was there next to the Cafe 80s thing for the Back to the Future 30th anniversary. And man, was it addicting. It really was addicting because you have like one control where you can like speed up or slow down and the other you just keep firing. It's just so addicting. It's like you're hooked on the game and you just want to beat it. And fortunately I did. The level I chose was the Battle of Endor in space and it was just... Without a doubt, absolutely addicting. And you're running on a time limit, so you have to give it all you have if you want to succeed. Although, depending on the difficulties, they can change. Though mine, when I did Battle of Endor, it was at a higher difficulty. And I was lucky with beating it. I was like, booyah! It is a big improvement over Star Wars Trilogy Arcade. Not to mention more action pack. Because if you waste your time trying to kill the fighter, the fighter's going to shoot you. And if you lose all your health, that's it. You're done. It really is a big improvement, and it makes me want to try it out again in the future. I really mean it. It's just that addicting. Not to mention, I got a lot of pictures of cosplayers. Even some that were cosplaying as Dr. Emmett Brown and Marty McFly to coincide with the 30th anniversary of Back to the Future. Speaking of which, the 30th anniversary version of the Back to the Future games coming too for PS4. I'm excited for that. I may get it. I may LP it. Who knows? That I'm going to be explaining all that in a bit. But what I can say is that it really was a lot of fun this year. Although I wish if I had like a bit more monetary funds, I would have gotten a lot more stuff because there was so much there. I would have had like a thousand dollars just to get everything. But I couldn't because all I had was like a hundred and eighty dollars. And with that, I can be able to make it work. But that's what I get for how things are with YouTube and everything and it makes it so damn difficult.
And speaking of which, you things have been not been going so well YouTube-wise this year because things have been declining. I am continuing Justice for All. This is actually the second part of the update because I did explain what the first part for NYCC. This is the second. Unfortunately, things have not been going so well, like I said. What I can say is that I am going to be continuing the rest of Justice for All until I finish it. Then after that, I don't really know. I don't really know what I have up my sleeve yet. Next. I will be live streaming again on Wednesday, but I have to make sure to do it before I think Arrow comes out. Today, tomorrow and Wednesday, I'm going to be having my reviews for this week's Gotham and this week's Flash. Because I want to cover on those two series. Especially the Flash, because I am a big fan of the Flash. I really love the show. I love this, the first season. It was intense. And I hear the second season is going to be better since it's going to be involving Earth 2 with Jay Garrick. This week's episode is going to be proof of that. And I hope you guys are enjoying it too. We just hit like about 28 million views. That's a big deal. For a YouTube channel that's been in nine, here nine years, but yet doesn't get far with how YouTube is. And one last thing. If you have not seen the updated video where I explain on the YouTube subscription service, please check it out this instant because... The first video I did, I went way out of line. I went way out of balance because I blew it out of proportion and it kind of was bad. However, after getting new information from my partner manager at Omnia, I was able to compile a video along with the information I got from many commenters and was able to put all of it the rest. And from what I've heard, the best thing about this is that we're all going to win in the end. Basically, if this is successful... We win. But do not worry. If you don't want to subscribe, it's okay. You can still have access to the YouTube that you always know for free. It's the fact that if you put $10 a month, like once a month, like $10 every month, you get access to a YouTube that's like ad-free. And pers and the, the difference is, is that YouTube pays its content creators directly. And since YouTube is watched by millions of people, and if they pull out the service, like if people start like paying for the service, it could help content creators in the long run. And can help provide better content and better stuff. So I think this is a good thing. And honestly, I think I'm in approval of it. I really am. So if you have not watched the video, the link's in the description. I hope you guys enjoy this, this update, of course. And if you did, please be sure to hit the like button because it really does mean a lot to me. Even though you don't see it, you just click on it and then I will know. Trust me, because I really do care for all of you guys here. I really do care and you all really mean a lot to me. So, yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, like I said, hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Apologies if this NYCC 2015 update isn't much because there was so much. I I'm going to have to write it all in the description. Or maybe have like a blog set up for it. All right, that's it. Take care, guys.